I'm Guildmaster Dan, and welcome to this week's news update. Obviously, I don't have a video this week. I you may recall from last week me saying that my computer was down. Obviously, I have it up and running to a working condition. Um, so this week, I'm just bringing you guys some quick news and another thought of the day. Um, first of all, I'm hard at work on the Lawful Evil video. Um, I have already made my choices from the Subscriber Alignment Contest. Um, those of you who were picked should have a message in your YouTube inbox, so if you gave a suggestion, be sure to check it um, so that you can get back to me on your prize. Uh, the winner, as well as their choice for a video, will be revealed in the Lawful Evil segment. Uh, expect it to be a little bit longer uh, than, the pr than previous video guys. I'm hoping not too much longer, but it's going to be just a little bit longer, because we're going to be taking a slightly closer look at that alignment. Um, just for sake of, you know, just because of this contest. Anyway, next I also have some new art pieces to add to my art wall today, both of which from Artist Lore from RainArc.com. First, I have this nice uh, Legend of Zelda piece of Link going and visiting a great fairy. Um, this is technically my wife's piece. She bought this at Colossal Con. Um, but it will be adding it to my wall because it's no less cool. Now, my piece that she bought for me at Colossal Con is this lovely, lovely portrait of Garrus. Um, by far one of the coolest characters from Mass Effect. Uh, and definitely my paramour option, thank you very much. Um, I played a female shepherd. Though, I didn't understand why they could add that. Anyway, uh, awesome character, um, and this is a even better print, and I'm, aw and I'm very glad to have it on my wall. You can kind of see in the bottom corner here, the website is there. I'll be putting it in the description below. Be sure to check out some of Laura's other great work. Um, and actually, let's add them to the... I stepped on my cord. <laughs> Let's add them to my wall real quick. So you can see where they're going to be. There. Official status on my art wall. Remember, if you are an artist or a craft uh, or a crafts and stuff type person, let me know because I could use your help with my role playathon, or if you just want to get a print of yours on my wall, give me a contact, and you know we'll talk it over and see if uh, see if I might have a nice spot for you. Um, next, uh, we have a new show that's coming to the channel, which is going to focus on. Ooh, excuse me. Which is going to focus on player advice in role-playing games. I mean, obviously my fourth wall is based on giving advice to game masters. Well, my wife has been a long time wanting to start up a show on the channel dedicated to the flip side of it, talking about um, advice for players and how they should approach certain topics. Now, she does have a lot of good ideas, and I've, I've helped her out uh, developing some of those ideas. It's not just going to be the player side of the stuff that I've talked about already. She actually has some completely different things that she wants to talk about. But she wants your help uh, with picking out her title for her show. She wants to know which you guys prefer. Would you prefer her to be known as Guild Mama Maz uh, or Clerical Maz? Maz obviously being her uh, online, her typical online alias. But she wanted to have a nice guild name. So, which do you prefer? Clerical Maz or Guild Mama Maz? Uh, Mention in the comments if you have an opinion. If you don't, well, then comment anyway. Uh, lastly, for our, our uh, thought of the day, I just wanted to bring up the idea of fighting game RPGs. And when I say that, I mean not just specifically RPGs based around the fighting game, you know, video game genre, such as the Street Fighter RPG, but games based around kind of like that, that whole... A whole sort of setting that martial arts tournament, um, martial artists are the ones that end up saving the world. Do you know of any RPGs based around that? I mean, again, other than the Street Fighter RPG. Do you know of any other RPGs that kind of have that sort of setting? Um, what are your favorite martial arts based RPGs? Who do you, what system do you feel does martial arts right? 
Um, and have you ever played in any, you know, fighting game style role-playing games? I know myself, I once played in a Mortal Kombat-based one uh, where I was playing a gang leader, a human gang leader by the name of Crow, or going by the name of Crow, and I knew, uh, <clears throat> I was kind of like Hrang from uh, Tekken, where I was like a Taekwondo master, and I ended up going down in the tournament against Outworld when I went up against, um, I, I don't remember what they're called, but they're the, what Motaro is, the centaur type race, I went up against one of those, and I actually was doing pretty well. I was act it actually, even though I was so much smaller than him, I was actually doing pretty well. But, but I went and got cocky, and he like stomped on the ground, knocked a rock in the air, and then swatted at me with his tail. And I was gonna turn it around on him by like doing a spin kick and knocking it back at him. Only, <laughs> only I failed my roll and took it in the face. So that knocked me right the hell out. Um, but I, but. Apparently, the game continued later after I left, and apparently my character came back as, like, a reoccurring villain or something, but... Anyway, it was, fu it was a fun time when I played that, and one of the unique things I noticed about uh, fighting game-style RPGs is that the one-on-one -on -one combat is a unique opportunity in that we've talked about how combat can slow down when it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, when you have that one-on-one -on -one combat, it's an opportunity for the Game Master to make it go... Just super quick, because all you have to do is your action, because you already know the other guy's action. Um, the only thing is you want to make sure you have a system that incorporates uh, reactions. I mean, Dungeon Dragons, my cat is jingling the jangles on the stairs with her jingles. Anyway, um, Dungeon Dragons, the D20, not, uh, well, not Dungeon Dragons, not the best, that is, does not have the best... Uh, martial arts fighting system. I've never liked the fact that that game doesn't have proper reactions. I much prefer, say, um, say in the Warhammer role-playing games, where when you are when you are going to be hit, you actually have a chance to react, whether it's dodging or blocking. Whereas you have to set those actions in Dungeons and Dragons. And I, it, I never really liked. It. I like I like having something happen to me, and I have a chance to react to it. Not, I have to set my reaction before an action comes. That never made sense to me. Uh, but, anyway, you want to be sure you have a good system, but it gives you a great opportunity to make combats quick and brutal, and if you get it right, I've had, if you get it right, and if you have a system that has those reactions, you can get really cool scenarios where, like, for example, I've been in sword fights in uh, Dark Heresy, where it... It really felt like a swashbuckling movie because we just kept parry reposting and dodging and sweeping and it, it got intense and it was a one-on-one -on -one battle and you have a unique opportunity to do that in like that tournament style play. Now granted, you can get those quick combats in Dungeons and Dragons with, uh, with when you go say to a gladiator tournament or something and your party gets entered into it. You can get those quick one-on-one -on -one combats um, and it could be a lot of fun. I just think... That's probably the strength of fighting games, and if you get into, like, a bigger battle, it should be saved for just, like, epic moments, like, you know, uh, the big rush to get at the final bad guy, and all his minions are fighting you and all your buddies and stuff, um, just because it, it will slow down the combat, so you want to kind of build up the epic scale, so you deal. Hmm. But those are just my thoughts on fighting RPGs. If you have any insight for it, please leave a comment below. I'm interested in hearing about any RPGs, like, made in that sort of setting or any good systems that that uh do martial arts really well um leave a comment below uh you know the the drill please like share and subscribe um so we can keep our conversation going and i realize i'm slipping into my <laughs> my normal outro but whatever uh but thanks guys for watching and showing up you should have the lawful evil video soon um and yeah we'll see you guys next time Okay.